Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Juliette and this is my channel, Mama Tried. The video you are about to watch was filmed about a week and a half ago. I wrote down all of my notes and everything about the road trip, what made it easier, what made it harder, and that way I could better help you guys and better help myself in the future. So I'm gonna go ahead and play the clip now of me showing you guys how I organized my car for a road trip with the toddler, a 12 hour road trip with the toddler. After about a week's worth of planning everything that we are going to pack and now today, finishing packing and loading up the car. I finally got the car how I want it. I drive like a smaller SUV. Let me show you guys how I have it packed for a 12 hour road trip with a toddler. So this is the driver's side. My husband is driving, so right here he's just got his sunglasses. That's my phone that fell off of here. And then in the door, I made everyone their own little pouch. Inside each pouch, I have snacks and a mask and some hand sanitizer. I've got one for me that's pretty much exactly the same on the other side. And then there's some hand sanitizer in the door. So that's the driver's side. This is Luxie's side. This is where it gets interesting. In the door, I just have her um, portable sound machine. Not sure if we'll need it, but I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. And then over here, this looks like a jumbled mess, but I promise it's organized. This is Luxie's version of the little snack thing. These are just for the snacks for today and tomorrow. We'll be staying at a hotel in between. So I've got her snacks, some wipies to wipe her hands off, and some hand sanitizer in there. Then over here, I've got her blankie. There's like a little learning friends words book. She loves this, so I figured it would keep her entertained and it would be a good car seat toy. Here's her little magnetic drawing board. This is full of all kinds of random toys. I made a bucket literally full of toys. Like I know that you can see some play food in there, but it's got things in here that she normally is not allowed to play with, like things that mine, kitchen stuff, tiny stuff that she could play with in the car. That's not a choking hazard or anything like that. So I just put together some of the most random items you can find in your house and I'll let you guys know how that goes down here. This is all of her food stuff for the entire week that we're gone as far as snacks. So she's got her little snack cup, her bib, her little Hello Kitty suction plate, and then underneath it's literally jam packed full of snacks. I don't even know how many there are, but <laughs> there's a lot. I didn't count. Then her car seat, she's in the Graco forever. I already put her sippy cup in here with ice in it and water. Here's a little lovey. She's probably going to take a nap, so she always likes to have something soft to hold on to while she's taking a nap. And then there's a teether attached onto it. I put this little fan up here, so that way if she gets too hot in the car, I can turn it on, or if she gets fussy, because she loves to be cold. And so I put that right there just in case. I have the little, you know, mirror that everybody has. And then, this is so random, and I did not even plan on doing this, but I put this command strip, uh, command hook right here, and then I attached a ribbon on the back of my old Amazon Kindle. I don't even know, like, what one this is or anything, and this is not going to be here the whole time. This is literally a last resort, and I put it there just so I could show you guys what I did. So, I downloaded some random things like Baby Shark and Dora the Explorer, just whatever I could find on Amazon Prime that I could download, so that way I did didn't have to use Wi-Fi. So I downloaded them on there. I'm going to go ahead and take it off because I don't want her to see it. So Luxie has literally never watched anything on a tablet before. She doesn't have an iPad. That's literally my old Kindle that I found for that specific reason because in case it gets really, really bad, she's really frustrated. I could play like Baby Shark or something like that for her and hopefully it would calm her down. That is not something that I'm going to use the entire time that we're going. It's just a last resort type of thing. So hopefully she sleeps a lot. We planned it around her nap. So she's about to take a nap in the car. So hopefully she naps for three hours. We'll probably wake up and do like a stop of some sort. And yeah, so that's the plan, hopefully. So that's Lexi's side of the car. Since we're going to be stopping at a hotel in between. I had my husband put everything in the car accordingly. That bag right there has all of our overnight stuff for whenever we go to the hotel. So it's got one night's worth of things and all of our toiletries. And then this bag is full of just beach stuff. So it's got like Luxie's beach toys, sunscreen, Crocs, 
all the kind of stuff like that. My husband put his boots right here. So we've got the pack and play. That's what Luxie will be sleeping in whenever we are gone. This whole bag is just full of Luxie's clothes. Right here, I just halved a sleeve of diapers because that's all hopefully that she'll need and a pack of wipes from Costco. I have her Bumbo multi seat that we will be using as her high chair when we're gone. She has her little beach chair with an attached umbrella on the back from Tommy Bahama. Um, and then this, I don't even know what this, oh, this is for me to do my nails. This right here is full of my clothes and my husband's clothes and like my blow dryer and shoes. And my husband just kind of put his shoes in here randomly. And then this is his bag for like our overnight stay. Ah! Are we ready to go? About to be. This is the passenger side, and this is really all I wanted whenever I was thinking of organizing the car. I know it looks like a complete mess, but there is a system to it. So right here, I'm gonna be putting this in the pack and play, so that way it's more comfortable because she's used to her plushy crib mattress. So I put this down so I could change her diaper on the road because whenever we went to Florida when she was a month old. It was so hard even though she was so little because my seats are inclined so she'd kind of roll a little bit. So I wanted it to be like a more level spot for me to change her. I've got some baggies right here to put trash in and things like that. I got these over the seat hooks from Amazon. I really like them because they pivot. And then I have my bag right here which I'm going to use as a diaper bag as we're gone. These little bags that I got from Amazon I labeled them for the diaper bag so this is like all of Luxie's medicine and some medicine that I take this is like her going out to eat bag and then this one is like um, extra clothes and snacks over here I've got the diapers and wipe my laptop all of my camera gear and work stuff is back here and on my side of the car I have my little pouch, which is full of my masks. It's got some hand sanitizer and a couple of snacks and gum. This is my water bottle and I brought a silicone straw with me because Luxie likes to share with me. I have a pillow um, for my back on the way there because my back's been hurting really bad. And this is just full of ice. And then we have a jug of water in the back so we can refill her sippy cup and my cup as we're going. I also love this. I've had it for a long time, but I have a little magnetic thing on the back of my phone so I can just pop it on. And my husband has one on his phone too, so it makes it really easy if he's driving and needs to use like Waze on his phone because even though my car has nav, we like to use Waze instead. My husband took my car and had it washed this morning, so she looks so nice. I can't really get a good angle of it because we're in the garage. Look at her. What? I didn't love her angle. I was going to let you Hi, know. baby. Are you ready to go, Baba? <coughs> we're going on a long trip. Oh. Yeah, we are. Are you excited? The first day we drove halfway there, stayed in a hotel, and then the next day we drove the rest of the way. The way back, we went the whole way through. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that made it a little bit easier for me, the things that made it harder, what I'm going to do next time, and all of the tips that I can share with you guys to make traveling with a toddler easier. I wrote down eight must-have items for a road trip with a toddler, a longer road trip. So, my number one is a spot to change your baby or toddler easily. So when Luxie was a month old, we did the same road trip and she was so tiny, it was a lot easier. I say easier, but we had to stop more frequently to change diapers and things like that. But this go around, I wanted a designated spot in the car that was just for diaper changing. It's okay if someone were to sit there, but I need to be able to have everything readily available to easily change her diaper. Because changing a 13 month old's diaper is kind of like giving a cat a bath. 
So I wanted to make it as easy as I possibly could and not ruin my interior in my car, if you know what I'm saying. So the first thing that I did was I got a very plushy blanket, which you would have seen in the video. I ended up not putting that in the pack and play because she didn't need it. Now, if she would have slept poorly, I probably would have added and tucked it underneath for safe sleep. She does sleep with a small blanket now, which was okayed by her pediatrician, and she has slept so good since I gave her one. So I got that blanket and I put it in the back passenger seat. So that way the seats weren't inclined because when they're at an incline, Luxie's head's kind of hitting like the buckle and she's rolling around. So that way she's comfortable and she's level. So that way I could change her diaper easier than I could, whereas if I didn't have the blanket. I also had Walmart sacks available to put her diapers in. Whenever we'd stop at a gas station, I would just throw it away or stop at a restaurant, whatever. And I put diapers and wipes in the floorboard or on the back of my seat so that way it's right there and I'm not digging for things. The next thing was snacks. Preferably the kind of snacks that don't make a mess. I brought some of those Gerber granola baby bars. Those made a mess. Do not give those to your baby in a car seat. And I know that you're not supposed to feed your baby in the car seat anyway, but I was in the back seat with her. She's a very good eater and I would consider her a cautious toddler. So I wasn't too concerned about that and she sits more upright than she did before. So um, I wasn't too scared about giving her snacks in the car like that. I do not give her snacks in the car if I'm driving and there's no one else in the car. There always has to be someone in the back seat with her while she's getting snacks. So I just wanted to make that clear. So the snacks that I'm talking about are um, puffs or cereal stars or whatever, dry cereal, um, those little yogurt melts, squeeze pouches, arrowroot cookies. They're the kind that Gerber makes. I wanted food that was non-perishable because we were going for long distances and since we were stopping, I didn't want to have to refrigerate food, make sure that our hotel room had a refrigerator, which it did, but you know, half the time those little refrigerators don't work or you don't even have one in your room, so I didn't want to chance it. And I didn't want to chance it going bad either. So those are some of the snacks that I gave her that I found did not make that much of a mess. My number three, is a small blanket or something to make them feel cozy so that way they can drift off into nap land for a little bit so you can get a break. I took two different blankets. I took a very soft, heavier one, I would say. I mean, they're really thin, but they're heavy. And um, then I took another one that was plushy, but light. So she had two different varieties for blankets because she really does alternate which one she likes. So, and they're just like the baby blankets, the smaller ones. They're not big blankets that take up a bunch of room. So those really helped a lot because if I give Luxie a blanket, she'll automatically put it up to her mouth and she'll pretty much fall asleep if she's sleepy. So a blanket was a big one for me. Number four is toys, toys, toys. And I know it's really hard, especially in the car and whenever you don't have enough space to store toys, but I brought along with us a magnetic drawing board, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, so it's just like a little magnetic board with a pin that kept her occupied for a little bit. I also took a learning friends little book, interactive book that she has. So when you open it up, you touch each thing and it tells you what it is and it has it in Spanish and all that. And I also took her Violet laptop. So um, Violet is like the purple dog. I think, is it Leapfrog? I can't remember which one it is. But um, I took that and you open it. It does peekaboo and all kinds of stuff. So I took those three things. They don't take up much space and they stack with each other. So I like that. Then in the video, you will also see that I had this small container full of random things that I could find in the house. So among all of those random things, I had one of my small makeup brushes. I had a butterfly clip. I had the little 
K cup like cup that you can put real coffee in. I had some of her eating utensils. I had some of my bangles because she loves those. I had a long necklace, all these things. I was back there with her whenever she was playing with them. So I wasn't worried about her choking, like choking herself or anything like that because I was right there playing with her. I put some scrunchies in there. I just put really random things throughout the house that she's not used to playing with. So that way it's kind of like a new toy without me having to go out and buy a new toy and take up all the space in the car the only downside of that is every time she got done playing with it i had to find it all over the car because she would kind of throw it in the door throw it on the side behind her car seat so i did have to fish for those toys a little bit but it kept her occupied i want to say for like three hours on the way there and three hours back which is a big time chunk the fifth thing is not really a must have but it kind of is and that is some sort of a tablet if she had a wet diaper and we were on the highway and there's no way that we're stopping within you know 10 15 minutes or so if i turned that on she would stop fussing and she would get occupied for a little bit right now she's pretty content with playing with toys in the car and keeping herself occupied so i'm not too worried about a tablet but it did help us for a couple of times where she got super fussy and we couldn't calm her down and she just wanted out of her car seat i may not agree with her looking at a tablet 24 7 but if it's something that keeps her happy for a little bit that I'm all for it. So that was one thing. And as you can see in the video, I put up a command strip directly in front of her. I moved it whenever we actually used it. I moved it over to the middle seat uh, because I was worried about if we were to get in a car accident or something like that, the pointy edge on it. So something that I'll do differently with the tablet uh, next time is I'll buy one of those over the seat clear hangers that you can slide the tablet into. Number six is a fan. I got this little fan on Amazon. It's battery powered, but you can also charge it. So I could just plug it right in in the car, charge it, hang it up on the little door handle and I could turn it on if she was getting a little hot or fussy because in the car seat, they get pretty warm in there. So I could just turn that fan on and it would keep her pretty happy. She loves to be cold and cool. So the fan was awesome. I'm so glad that I thought of that. Number seven is in the video, you saw that I had all these separate bags for each person in the car. So I highly, highly recommend that, especially with COVID going on right now. So each person had their own bag. It was full of snacks, gum, mints, masks, hand sanitizer, um it's a good thing to have like chargers in there so if your family has devices they could put their own chargers in there uh so that way they can keep up with all that you don't have chargers everywhere you can't find anything in the car so i really liked having a bag for each person in the door um and it, i'm sure it'd be really good for families with multiple children as well so that way your child has their own snack bag and they know that it's theirs they can see how many they have left and everything like that number eight would be wireless headphones for me because when i was sitting in the back seat with luxy i did move from the front front seat to the back seat she did really well on the trip um, but whenever I was in the back seat with her, if she would fall asleep or she was occupied with something, then I could put my headphones in, listen to music, watch videos. I'm really glad that I brought my wireless headphones and I charged them. Things that I will do differently next time. Um, I told you guys about the clear tablet holder, but next time I will also bring a small cooler, like a pretty small cooler so I can keep like uh, the snack pouches in and water and other snacks and the next time we go she'll be a little bit older so maybe she can have different snacks in the car so those are just a couple of things that I will do differently next time but all in all Luxie actually did great she did really good on the way there we did stop in between uh, we went the straight through home so we did a full 12 hours on the way home and for being 12 hours she got fussy a couple of times but no meltdowns or anything like that she did great so if she started to get fussy i could hand her a snack if most of the time the snack worked but if it didn't then i can hand her a toy if the toy didn't work i could hand her the blanket maybe she needed a nap so that's kind of how i alternated it and it worked great i'm so happy that it did i was really nervous about how it was going to be going on such a long road trip with a toddler but it worked out great and i would totally do it again 
So, and I know toddlers are different, every day is different, but we just so happen to have some pretty good days. So that's pretty much everything I have for my tips on traveling with a toddler. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more of my videos. Also, I have a giveaway going on on my channel, so make sure you check out that video. Once I hit 1,000 subscribers, I'll be giving away a $50 Amazon gift card, so make sure that you enter to win that and share this video with any mamas or dads that you think would appreciate this or they have a trip coming up. Once again, you guys, thank you so much for watching and have an awesome day. Bye.